with the undeniable DMX backdrop. Enter Iron Mike Tyson. You know he's had a huge embrace for mixed martial arts. I didn't think we'd see him compete in this setting. Hope he's been working on his takedown defense. Yeah, he's going to need it. Iron Mike's going to need to be able to stay upright if he wants to give himself a chance. But if he's on his feet every second of the fight, Mike Tyson has the ability to knock you out. Imagine a guy that can put you out with 10-ounce gloves, landing with 4-ounce gloves in the UFC octagon. Mike is fast, Mike has great setups, and Mike has a meanness about him that not many others have. You better be careful fighting Iron Mike Tyson. He is ferocious, and seemingly the speed and power are still there at his advanced age. Mike Tyson trying to make headway here in the UFC tonight. Mike Tyson, he has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, and he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mike Tyson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, third Herb man Mike. in the octagon Mike. tonight. All right, Mike Tyson and John Jones, it just does not get a whole lot better than this, and Mike Tyson, despite being on the wrong end of the MMA experience equation, believes that he's got the faster hands, the better footwork, and he's ready to put it on Johnny Bones here tonight. There's no question about that. Tyson does have the better footwork. Tyson does have the faster hands, but can he match the IQ of John Jones? Can he match the smarts and the wits of John Jones with all that championship-level experience inside the octagon? Time to find out right now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. In the half guard. Getting the ball here. He's got to start throwing now. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that, Jack. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Jones. Oh, man, these fighters are training strong. 
strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Oh, just open it up on his eye. Just misses with the jab there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it hard. Jones gets another takedown. That's been there all night. Now drops inside that closed guard, you see. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Jones gets caught by another straight punch there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, then suddenly he'll change his stance. And now some separation. Oh, nice strike landed there by Tyson. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Jab there by Tyson. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Well, John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winkle John is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, I'm starting to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Lands a big elbow there. Back to the overhand. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. And now another being thrown on both sides. Stay aggressive. All right, he engages in the center. Tyson's eye starting to swell now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Straight right is there. Oh, Jones gets caught by another straight. One minute now to go in round one. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Ooh, so now things are going to get interesting. That strike appears to have opened up a cut. And it's a, it'll be interesting to see how he approaches the fight going forward, knowing now that he's been damaged. Jones is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd setting up the submission attempt. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Good is that? that is phenomenal submission Work. defense by this young man. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, great block there.
Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that thing. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly uh, for attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. He remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. Back mount now. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did, was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Beautiful grounded power. And now he's got his opponent cut. Double up on the jab there. Nicely done by Tyson. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. Even if you feet on you've got to be ready to slip that head at a Oh, he's in real trouble now. Just misses with the right. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. Oh. That'll what? do it! What? Oh, my goodness! With a massive highlight at the Garden. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving forward. He might draw some names in the top five. Huge win for Mike Tyson with the odds stacked again. Him here tonight.